So we're just moving into the last phase of our senior stretching routine. So we have moved from our second position over onto the knee down. So you want your heel to be towards the groin of the opposite side, and that will give you a stretch in the back of the hip here. So you can stay up here like this, or you can play around with which position that you prefer on your elbows or stretched all the way out or head in. So I like to rest my forehead on my hands and that way I can relocalize the stretch here using my breath each time to deepen the relaxation into it. And this is a good time to reach back and really open up the front of the other hip. So again, you can lift that leg up and gently move the heel towards the back of the hip. And again, don't force this. This is just by breathing in and breathing out. And breathing in and breathing out. Another way you can stretch here is to push that foot into the arm and hold for a 10 second. And then at the end of the 10 seconds, you relax the muscles and breathe out and then it'll move even easier. So let's try that for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, pushing into your hand, four, three, two, one, then breathe out and relax. And use that hand to pull it gently forward. Okay, from there you wanna stretch out into a plank position and then bring in the other leg. And again, bringing that heel forward into the opposite groin and working the stretch here. So choose, do you want to be on your elbows, arms stretched out, or forehead in? And breathe. Letting go and relaxing. Breathe. Letting go and relaxing. And breathe. And relaxing. So if you're happy in this stretch, you can stay there, or if you want to go one step further, then you go back into pulling that back. And again, we're going to push into that foot, the foot into the hand for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, keep pushing, 3, keep pushing, 2, keep pushing, 1, and relax. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring that heel in. So you can use that for stretching any of the muscle groups. And the idea is to hold for 10 and then increase the stretch and to do that about three times. Okay, so once you've gone through that, release the toes out back into your plank position. Scooch in your feet if you need to, and you're gonna push back into your down dog. So just really open up the hips. You can walk out those knees, open out the shoulders as well, and then bring your hands and feet together working to get those hands in front of your feet, relaxing forward. And again, you can have a slight bend of the knees here as you roll all the way up slowly. Mind you might get a little bit dizzy if you've been upside down for a while. Roll your shoulders once and twice. And that completes our seniors stretching video for our senior classes. Okay, look after your body, keep moving and keep well.